Pani Puri Inside a Spaceship Written by Vidya Pradhan Illustrated by Arpita Bhattacharji Dinner time called Daddy Chiki and Nino who were playing outside came running in Daddy was already at the table What are we having asked Nino Muli parathas said Mummy and Raita Chiki wrinkled her nose Yuck she said Daddy frowned Never say that about food Chiki It smells said Chiki 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 don't be picky chanted Nino as he gobbled up a paratha He loved all kinds of food but his sister was fussy Chiki don't you want to be an astronaut asked Mummy Yes agreed Chiki Mummy was a scientist and Daddy had been a fighter pilot Chiki wanted to study science and then some day fly higher than Daddy She wanted to be like the people who fly high into space and are called astronauts or star sailors Well said Mummy I have an idea If you eat your parathas today I'll make astronaut food for you tomorrow. Okay, said Chiki happily and wolfed down her paratha. The next day, Chiki and Nino came back from school for lunch. They were eager to see what Mummy had made. I hope astronauts eat cake and ice cream, said Nino. And pizza and pani puri, piped Chiki. Instead, they saw a tube on their plates. Toothpaste? cried Nino. Is that what astronauts eat? Not toothpaste. Mummy smiled. I mashed up rice and dal and put it in the tube. You can squeeze it into your mouth. Why can't we have rice and dal on the plate instead? asked Chiki. Daddy had some on his plate and it suddenly looked delicious. Daddy pointed to his food. See how it stays on my plate? In space it would float away. Chiki and Nino imagined bits of rice floating in the air. Nom 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 said Nino as he pretended to catch the grains. Watch out rice, I'm coming for you. It looks like fun, but it would take very long to finish eating and tidbits could end up in the spaceship's engines and make a mess, said Daddy. But why does food float in space? asked Chiki. It doesn't float down here. On Earth, we have a force called gravity. It keeps not just food, but all of us from floating into space, explained Daddy. That is why when we throw a ball up into the air, it falls back down. Mummy added, "Far, far away from Earth, there is almost no gravity." So astronauts and other things in space weigh next to nothing. They float. And food out there has to be easy to eat and not float away every time someone tries to have lunch, said Daddy. Chiki thought about that for a bit. If gravity pulls everything closer to the ground, then don't we also need it to make our food go from our mouths down to our stomachs? So how do astronauts eat? Won't the food float back to their mouths when they try to swallow? Good question, said Daddy. When human beings started going into space, scientists wondered about that too. The first experiment they did was to have John Glenn, an astronaut, swallow some water. And could he? asked Nino. Imagine not being able to drink water, he thought. Yes, said Daddy. It turns out that we can swallow because of the muscles in our food pipe between the mouth and the stomach and not because of gravity. That is why we can even eat upside down though the muscles have to work harder against the gravity. Chiki and Nino looked at each other. This was an experiment they had to try. Be careful, warned Daddy, who knew what they were planning. You should not eat or drink too much when you're upside down. Gravity is a pretty strong force. 
Chicky looked at the tube on her plate. So this is what astronauts eat? She was disappointed. Mummy smiled. When they first started going into space, astronauts ate meat and fruit pastes from tubes. This was not very tasty. So they complained, like you, she said. So scientists tried to come up with options that looked and tasted more like regular food. Today, astronauts get canned food, nuts, granola bars, anything they can eat in a single bite without leaving pesky crumbs. Space shuttles also have small kitchens with ovens where the food can be reheated. So Indian astronauts take fish and paneer curry and other tasty dishes. What about pizza and ice cream and soda? Asked Ninu. Scientists have been trying to send pizza to space for a long time. Making and baking dough in space is difficult. But a team of astronauts made pizza by using flatbread, sauce and toppings. There are no freezers in space for ice cream, said Daddy. And the bubbles in soda behave in strange ways because of the lack of gravity, said Mummy. But astronauts eat lots of different foods, said Daddy. Even fruit like apples and bananas. And scientists are trying to figure out a way to grow vegetables in space. And now, said Mummy with a twinkle in her eyes, you have to try these gobi parathas. Oh no, said Chiki. But when I become an astronaut, I am going to take Pani Puri along. Did you know? Cosmonaut Yuri Gagarin's first meal in space in 1961 was beef and liver paste. Then he had chocolate sauce. Astronauts in Russia are called cosmonauts. And Indian astronauts are called vyomonauts. Astronauts live in space stations that orbit the Earth. A space station is about the size of three houses and has a kitchen, bathroom, study and sleeping areas. Salt and pepper are used in liquid form in space. Astronauts attach containers to special trays using Velcro. They also fasten their trays to their laps so they can eat while sitting down. Astronauts drink from pouches with special nozzles. If they used cups, their coffee, tea or juice would become a ball and float around the cabin. Since we don't make a lot of saliva in space, food tastes bland. That is why astronauts love spicy food. Astronauts choose what they eat. Food packages are labeled so they do not get mixed up. 